Hello friends, this is Khushbusha. This presentation is prepared by me with the help of I4 Consultancy Services. As you already know, there are 14 groups of controls in ISO 27001-2013 that is A5 to A18. In this presentation, I am going to cover control A.11 that is physical and environmental security and its subcontrol A.11.1 that is secure areas. So let's start. The content that will be covered in this presentation is Control A.11 Physical and Environmental Security Its subcontrol A.11.1 Secure Areas and its subcontrols A.11.1.1 to A.11.1.6 and last references. So let's start. First, I am going to explain you control A.11 that is physical and environmental security. This control takes care of both physical and environmental security of an organization. Control A.11 has two subcontrols. First, A.11.1 that is secure areas and second A.11.2 that is equipment. First subcontrol A.11.1 will be explained by me in this presentation and second subcontrol A.11.2 will be explained in next presentation of this ISO series. Physical security includes security guards, biometric machines, etc. And environmental security includes disaster recovery from earthquake, fire, tsunami, etc. Now let's start with first subcontrol A.11.1 that is secure areas. What is the control objective of this control A.11.1? To prevent unauthorized physical access, damage and interference to the organization's information and information processing facilities. Security breach of this control can be there if someone gets unauthorized access to secure areas by social engineering, shoulder surfing, etc. Areas like data center are critical because of storage of critical information. So areas like data center should be highly secured from unauthorized access. Now we are going to discuss subcontrol of control A.11.1 that is A.11.1.1 physical security parameter. Safety measures should be taken across physical security parameter to protect areas from any unauthorized access areas like data center. Control objective of this subcontrol is security parameters shall be defined and used to protect areas that contain either sensitive or critical information and information processing facilities, for example, data center. Second subcontrol A.11.1.2 that is physical entry controls. This control takes care of physical security at the entry point of any organization. 
control objective of this sub control is secure areas shall be protected by appropriate entry controls to ensure that only authorized personnel are allowed access this physical entry controls include password passphrase biometric for two factor authentication and smart card the combination of any two entry controls from these four controls provides the strongest security to the organization now third sub control a.11.1.3 securing offices rooms and facilities what is the control objective of this sub control physical security for offices rooms and facilities shall be designed and applied physical security includes security guard at entry point of every room in organization then swipe in swipe out all employees have to swipe in their card while entering to organization and swiping out their card while exiting from organization to prevent unauthorized access then luggage scan and biometric for two factor authentication fourth sub control e.11.1.4 protecting against external and environmental threats control objective of this sub control is physical protection against natural disasters malicious attack or accidents shall be designed and applied external threats include natural disasters like earthquake tsunami etc and environmental threats include global warming and fire this sub control takes care of protection against these natural disasters and environmental threats now let me explain sub control a.11.1.5 working in secure areas secure areas like data center where critical information is stored what is the control objective of this sub control procedures for working in secure areas shall be designed and applied this procedures may include cctv cameras installation body scan of people working in secure areas like data center and biometric for two factor authentication password passphrase smart card and swipe in swipe out these are mechanisms for this control only now let me explain last sub control of a.11.1 that is a.11.1.6 delivery and loading areas control objective of this sub control is access points such as delivery and loading areas and other points where unauthorized persons could enter the premises shall be controlled and if possible isolated from information processing facilities to avoid unauthorized access unauthorized access can be determined by three methods shoulder surfing theft of employee id card and social engineering what is shoulder surfing using this method unauthorized person can get password by looking into authorized person's computer while typing username and password then theft of employee id card in this method unauthorized person 
can swipe in that card by theft of employee id card and get unauthorized access in authorized way and last social engineering in this unauthorized person makes fool to authorized person and get password from him to get access to the organization for more details you can visit this listed websites thank you